Hey guys, so this is a video on how I make my YouTube thumbnails and I will just kind of show you what I do step by step, not necessarily a tutorial on how to use the software and that's partly because there's just so much that you can do with it and there's also different photo editing softwares. So yes, that's just to clarify that right now. And let's just begin. The photo editing software I like to use is called GIMP and I will put a link for it in the description. It's free and because it's free obviously it's not as extensive as Photoshop but since I don't really use it for much it doesn't really matter for me. And what I'm about to open I will also put in the description and it's just a thumbnail safe zone so you know the boundaries for what will be seen like these boundaries are what's going to be cut off on mobile devices at least I know for Apple devices I don't know about Androids and all that so everything in the checkered transparent part will be seen this time will be covering whatever is over here you know I actually have no idea where this is maybe it's in the actual safari part I don't know and same goes for that but you know it's just like boundaries so you know where to begin and end your words so they're seen and all that so what I like to do after I open that as a layer if you didn't notice I like to add a new layer make sure it's, tran it's transparent and then it kind of just depends on what I feel like doing for that thumbnail I think just for this tutorial I will make a gradient so cancel um what gradients are here actually I think they're over here mmm I'll choose a random one uh, I don't know where's that blue one there I'll choose that one so you know this is the gradient uh, brush or whatever and you know there's different shapes that you can do I think I'll do bilinear why not and you know just kind of do whatever you want there's just so much that you can do you don't have to do a gradient you can put a picture you can put pictures um, you can do whatever so again this is just what I like to do sometimes I liked it um, how did I have it okay that's good enough so as you see like the thumbnail safe zone like it disappeared so you're probably like oh how do I know where to stop and begin but you can always move the layers uh, up and down and nothing is working so sad Okay, well, I don't know why, but I have to like click on top of here every time I want to switch it when I'm recording my screen, but yes, I figured out why. So you can just move the layers so you can still see what will be seen. So all this will be in the thumbnail and then obviously all this will be cut off. So you can kind of leave that there until you get your words and all of that situated which I think I will do next and again I just like to add layers between everything and make sure they're transparent and for words and I will try and choose a random one did it say grilled cheese? what did that say? it did say grilled cheese oh, I didn't even know I had it I want to move this one. I'm just changing the font size. And then how nope to I'll put make this is how we do that song is stuck in my head. Oh I have to leave it big. 
is the move. And then move active layer. I'll probably make these words bigger after. How to make you no, I'm gonna do and then if that happens you can just make this bigger. And yeah, I know they're shortcut keys, but I'm not gonna use them. So I'm gonna make these words bigger. No, not that big. That's good enough. No. Okay. And I think that's it. And then, of course, you can add like pictures and stuff. Like I don't think I have, I'm gonna add a new layer like I said. And then I like to, oh, I guess I don't really have to cause I like to open as layers. Move. I don't think I have something. Let me see. No, I have this one. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that looks so bad. But this is just an example. You know, you can just add whatever you want. Whatever you want. Mm. And then, if you want a quick way to make an outline, like say I want a different color blue as outline for uh, these letters or words. So what you have to do is highlight the layer, right click it, add alpha to selection, and then you'll get these little dashes around the words. You go to select, and then you can either shrink it or grow. And I'm gonna grow. So if I shrunk it, I will change what will change. I don't remember. I think it will, I don't remember, but I'm gonna grow it. And then you're just growing by however many pixels you want. So I'll say four. And then I'm going to change the color. Okay. I'm going to zoom in really quick. No. No, I don't think it will do it because it's oh there. Just kidding. YouTube thumbnails. No, I totally knew that was going to happen. There. And then you can do the shortcut control or shift control A to get rid of the dashes or you can go to select and then none. And that's kind of how you make an outline. 
for your word and actually I'll just see what grow does because I can't remember so again right click on whatever layer you want to do the um, editing for go to alpha to selection and this time we're gonna go to shrink I'll do four again push ok oh it's like over and then I think it does the inside yeah and then either shift control a or select none so that's how you do an outline and then there's just a bunch of different stuff that you can do you can make drops shadows and I guess I can show you that really quick too so to make a drop shadow again highlight and I think you go to filters light and shadow drop shadow and of course it opens it behind here and I just play around with this I don't even know it doesn't really matter because you can move the shadow I don't really like mine to be blurry change the color now um, I think I'll do white. Where's white? F, 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 F. I don't know why I have to click the top. And then the opacity. And OK. Oh, that's right. It'll do like the outline as well if you did an outline. But if you don't have the outline, it won't move it. Or it won't like, um, it won't look like that. It'll just look like regular words without the lines in them but you know you can like make your own little drop shadow and all that jazz what else is there to do um but you know that's just kind of like the basics of how to make youtube thumbnails and i probably will just keep it like this since it's just a tutorial thing i'll just do if you want to do the same type of drop shadow it's, you can go to filters and then repeat. Oh, I was just kidding. Don't do that. You have to go to a reshow. Just kidding, reshow. Then. No, what the heck? What is wrong with you? Oh, I was on the wrong one. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. And then repeat. And then this is what I'm talking about. Like how these words are like, um, what is the word? Solid and not having lines like this. So if you grow, you'll get lines like that, which I kind of like. I like that. It's cool. Whatever. And uh, let me move this. Boom. I think I'll just keep it like this. Like, it's just a tutorial thing. And then after you're done with everything, it's just so that you can either just delete this altogether or you can like move it down. Move it down. This does not like photo editing software or, or screen recording software. And so that was what the thumbnail would look like. It's very plain, but you know, you can do whatever you want with yours. And I think I will just keep mine like this. And to save it, well, you can save the raw file. And to do that, you can just go to save as. And then you leave this editing the ending and save it wherever you want but call it whatever you want but make sure you save it that way if you want to change it later you can but if you want to just export it you can go to export and then 
uh, YouTube toot dot jpg or you can do png doesn't matter and then I'm gonna go to fit pictures and then export but you know the stupid thing doesn't want to there and then so when I go to my photos it will be there and I would show you, actually, I think I will try and show you right now what it will look like. So hold on. Of course, this happens right now. I mean, thanks, YouTube. It's taking way too long to change. And I just wanted to show you that it'll be different on the um, you know website versus what it'll look like on a phone or something. So this is what it'll look like in... A regular web this is the one that I made the other day and you know how the P is not that covered up but then in mobile it is it's and then also you can tell it's more the words and the little logo thing is closer to the sides in the mobile app so that's just kind of small difference and I was going to show you with the one that I just made, but again, it was taking way too long to change and all that. So that's all I think I wanted to show in this, um, whatchamacallit, tutorial uh, thing on how to make, or how I like to make, I should say, YouTube thumbnails, just kind of like an easy beginner version and then of course you can um you can uh go through like all the different stuff that you can do with not just words but with shapes and pictures and all of that you can mask stuff kind of like how i showed in superimpose or not kind of but is like how you do in superimpose um that's how i put my mini accordion wallet on that thumbnail in that other video the superimposed video but yes that was just this is just like a quick thing i don't even know how long this is i've been talking forever and hopefully i didn't forget anything i talked about the layers um you know i just like to add a new layer in between so everything isn't right on top of each other even though i think you can still change them individually I don't remember really um yeah I think that's it and uh, you know you can use these tools I used like oh no this is wrong this is the wrong tutorial thing so never mind um but yes I think I forgot something though I really did but you know, oh well. This is long enough. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will answer them, or at least try to. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching, as usual. And bye.